So I'm currently running the Samsung S95B QD OLED at 4K 60Hz resolution, but using a secret hack, you can actually unlock 144Hz refresh rate on the television, even at a UHD resolution of 3840x2160, and in VR and HDR, as you can see once I summon the information bar on the S95B QD OLED. But is it really 144Hz? Well, it just so happens that I have a calorimetry research CR100 meter here, which can read the refresh rates on displays so that the meter's read frequency can be synced up for calibration. And indeed, the Samsung S95B was refreshing at 144Hz. Next, let's check if there's any frame skipping. To do this, I used this frame skipping test pattern on testufo.com, containing a small white box moving quickly through a grid of empty rectangles. Here's how the test pattern works. If you use a slow enough camera shutter speed to take a photo of the screen refreshing at 144Hz, any break in a continuous sequence of illuminated rectangles would indicate frame skipping. Because I'm that sort of OCD guy who doesn't trust one or even two photos, I took at least two dozen photos using different shutter speeds and exposures, and none of them showed a gap between the illuminated rectangles, confirming that there's no frame skipping when the Samsung S95B QD OLED was running at 4K 144Hz. Note that because this is an unofficial hack, in the PC picture presets of Entertain or Graphic, from time to time, the picture on the S95B would get jumbled up at 144Hz, especially after you switch between applications in Windows. The solution to avoid this is by engaging game mode on the Samsung S95B QD OLED, which is also necessary to allow for VR or G-Sync compatibility from an NVIDIA graphics card, such as the RTX 3090 I use for testing televisions and monitors in my reviews. Judging from the NVIDIA Pendulum demo, G-Sync VRR seemed to be working fine above 4K 120Hz in HDR, delivering buttery smooth gameplay without any tearing or frame drops, which is further confirmed by this test pattern containing a vertical bar scrolling horizontally. I ran a bunch of my usual tests, and driving the Samsung S95B at 4K 144Hz didn't appear to incur significant compromises compared to 4K 120Hz. The QD OLED still fully resolved single pixel, horizontal, and vertical lines at 4K 144Hz, as well as reproduced full 444 chroma in PC mode. Note that we had to set our camera out of focus slightly to avoid introducing more to this footage. The PQ UTF tracking on the Samsung S95B was noticeably jacked up in HDR game mode, but that's the same at both 144Hz and 120Hz. One downside of selecting 4K 144Hz instead of 4K 120Hz was that color depth was irreversibly capped at 8-bit, even after dropping the chroma resolution to YCBCR422 or even YCBCR420 to fit within the HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. However, just like what we observed on the Alienware QD OLED monitor, we couldn't really see any significant increase in posterization on this display HDR test pattern after doing plenty of back and forth comparisons between 8-bit 144Hz and 10-bit 120Hz on our RTX 3090 card, suggesting that Nvidia's dithering was doing a fairly good job while still allowing Windows to output HDR. To unlock 144Hz refresh rate on your Samsung S95B, you may first need to bring up the user menu, then go into the connection submenu. Click on External Device Manager, then click on Input Signal Plus. You will have to enable Input Signal Plus to activate HDMI 2.1 on the HDMI port to which your PC is connected. After that, go back to the NVIDIA control panel, click on Customize, then click on Create Custom Resolution. In the Refresh Rate field, type in 144Hz, then from the standard drop-down menu, select CVT Reduced Blank then click on Test. Hopefully, after a very brief blackout, you will see a message saying that the test was successful, in which case click on Yes to save the new 4K 144Hz resolution. From now on, you will be able to select 144Hz resolution from the NVIDIA control panel. So despite being only officially rated at 120Hz, 
the Samsung S95B was clearly capable of displaying 144Hz refresh rate, as specced by QD OLED panel manufacturer Samsung Display at CES earlier this year, making it the world's first OLED television to support 4K 144Hz refresh rate. To ensure a stable image at all times when transmitting such a high bandwidth video signal, I highly recommend using a certified HDMI 2.1 cable, such as one from Zeskit, who has kindly sponsored this video. I continue to use the company's flagship Zeskit Maya series, as well as the slimmer and more flexible Zeskit Lite series of certified HDMI 2.1 cables in my in-depth TV testing and side-by-side -side comparisons, and they have never failed me. If you are considering buying a certified HDMI 2.1 cable, which has to be marketed as ultra high speed HDMI cable, please support this channel by considering buying one from Zeskit. I will leave the purchase link in the YouTube description below. Thanks again for your support. Okay, another crucial step to getting a stable 4K 144Hz picture on the Samsung S95B QD OLED is to engage game mode, which you can do by summoning the user menu, going into the connection sub menu, click on game mode settings, then turn on game mode. However, the default game mode settings are too blue and garish, which may spoil your enjoyment of PC or console games. I've done another video showing step by step how to improve the picture quality in game mode on Samsung televisions, so go watch my instruction video by clicking here.